Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It is now time for This Week in Geek for February 20th, 2016. We have so many people up here this time. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. I'll go first. I'm Rob Southgate. With me, Edward Lee. Edward Lee. A little Kanitza. A little Kanitza. We have. We don't have the Chris puppet tonight. Instead, we brought the Chris coffee mug. So those of you at home can see it is Chris. Same. I did it with my feet. No, I don't know who drew it, um, but. It's the Chris Coffee Mug, so he may chime in tonight. And finally, on the end, we have a very special guest. James Wilder. James. Welcome, James. Thank yeah, you. that's Thank right. You. So now he's going to sing Like Jim Neighbors back home again in Indiana. No. Uh, okay, so let's jump into this thing. Oh, you should give your, your social media, because you don't have any. But you do. Of course. I have a lot of social media. Um, I do a podcast called The League of Geeks you Podcast, know? and that's Geeks with a Z. And uh, the Twitter account there, if you want to follow me, is at L-O-G-E-E-K-Z. Awesome. And James? Uh, you can find a bunch of my writing at jameswilder.com. Uh, you can also find me at Facebook at James Wilder Writer. Um, Twitter, I'm Ark Beetle. And I run a podcast with these guys that you can find on their website, too. Yes, 10,000 Dawns. It's a, it's a serialized story. It's really good. And Edward doesn't have any social media. I bum, don't. Bum. I really don't. Aww. I'm just forever alone. Forever alone. <laughs> his, his social life consists of William. That's Unfortunately. exciting. Unfortunately. Yeah, right? And Jacob. Who doesn't want that to be your social life? I do, Jacob. That's right. Jacob Puppet's my friend. All right. Let's jump into it. It's kind of um, wrong. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Todd McFarlane. I want to start there. Sure. Todd McFarlane, because of the success of Deadpool... I don't know if anyone's heard of this movie, but because of the success of Deadpool, has surfaced and said, well, I've written a script for Spawn, and it's going to be R, and it's 183 pages. I'll have to trim it back a bit. Okay, first of all, I would like to see a Spawn movie, but 183 pages? No, he said 183 pages. He has to edit it, so it will be 140. I hope he... 140 is still more than a two-hour movie. Todd McFarlane well, that's, that's is not what, known for well, his that's writing. That's only two, hour, two hours and ten minutes. I mean, you're not you're two hours and twenty minutes. I mean, these... Two hours be, and twenty minutes. But Todd McFarlane, have you ever read his Spider-Man run? Yes. The artwork's gorgeous. The writing stinks. Sorry. But that, that was... You're, you're talking about somebody who started out in comics a long, long time ago and has evolved, I think. I, I'm, I'm not worried about McFarlane because you know what's going to happen. A studio's going to pick it up. McFarlane's going to have that first take, and then yeah, the studio's going to have a writer he in. Wants he, he wants to direct it. He wants to direct it, write it. Frank Miller directed, you know. And look how that turned out. <sighs> maybe he can start in it, too. Yeah. The maybe, spirit? Maybe. Wow, bad. Wow. But the spirit bad. is a special kind of bad. Yes. That's, <laughs> you can watch that movie every weekend. It's so bad. It's, that's a bad movie. <laughs> that is a bad, and I was so excited for it. Like it had all the elements, and it was terrible. Uh, <laughs> all right, it, it's it's his it's his bro, you know it's his thing. Let him do it. All right, I'm just you know I, as soon as I saw Deadpool was successful, I'm like you know who's going to surface with this? Well, no, he surfaced with it before though. Like, yeah, but this was it's, the chance he's been to talking get about. Press. He's been talking about it for a while. I want uh, I follow. it to happen. I want him to be successful with it. I love his toys. I like his art. I'm just 183 pages, man. He should not be the one editing it. Get a real editor on there and a script doctor. And you know what? I'll be down with it. Well, I bet they will eventually. Think he'll get John Leguizamo again? Maybe. He was the clown. Remember that? Yes. This is awesome. Martha had the toy. Yep. That's weird that you had the toy. She did. She had the toy. Well, they didn't make a pest toy, so she couldn't get the John Leguizamo pest. Deep cut. Terrible. Deep cut. All you young guys don't know what I'm talking about. No, All right. I know no, what you're talking don't. about. Who wants to it's go? It's a terrible movie. Uh, All right. Well, go ahead. Oh, well, on that note, um, new the third Wolverine movie, because of Deadpool, it's now going to be R-rated. They're I jacking mean, the rating I think it says everything. it may be R. It may be. I, it don't may know be. If, I don't know if they're going to go there yet. I don't think so. I think it's just planning, because if it's going to be Old Man Logan... It would be nice to have it R, but if it's not going to be, there's really no point. But it still can't be Old Man Logan because of all the characters that right. Fox doesn't own. No, no. Yeah, they're big when they do Old that. Man Logan, it's not gonna, they are going to have him old. 
Well, yeah, they're going to have him older. They're yeah, not going to follow that. the old man Logan. But that's the thing. So like, everybody's like, oh, it's old man Logan, but it's not. It's not right. going to be old man. I mean, it will be an old man Logan like storyline, but it will not be what's in the comic. Right, exactly. So you don't need it to be. Just like uh, Civil War is uh, uh, not uh, the Civil War from the comics. Yeah. They don't have all those characters. Well, but Fox wants to keep this trend that they have going with Deadpool now. They have this reputation of success Hold on. now. Let me just say one, one movie thing. That's one thing's not a trend because the movie just before uh-huh. that. Was Fantastic Four. Yes. Sorry to remind you of that, Fox. I That's just, not a trend. I, I just oh, watched that I movie. don't think it's a trend. Well, just watched. But it seems like Fox executives think one thing is a trend. Well, yeah, they see that it's R and it's successful. And they're like, look at we scored. Let's do this thing. I bet they're thinking about it big time. But, you know, it's a mistake. I, I was against the Deadpool just being R. I saw the movie. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is, and I loved it. It was great. Don't make everything R. Just like you, Dark Knight was great. Don't make everything the Dark Knight, please. Right, Jenny. Aren't they planning? And to why do... not make a G-rated Squirrel Girl? I am on that bandwagon. I would love to see that. I'm I not. I would love it too, I'm but really make not. it make it really good. It doesn't have to be PG to be really good. Toy Story Three was excellent. That's a G-rated movie. I cried. Yeah. Who didn't cry? You cried. You cried. <laughs> you didn't cry because you're heartless. You cried. <laughs> Look at him. He's just playing his Rubik Cube. He's not listening to us at all. Aren't they planning to do... You're heartless, too. You, you cried. I said, you're heartless, too. You didn't cry, either. <laughs> you're not even listening. Toy Story 3. Yeah, of course. That's brutal. Yeah, I'm all I'm all down with a G-rated Squirrel Girl. Mm-hmm. It's done well. Then MCU can show everybody what's up, right? I, I don't need it. Okay, well you don't need it. That's I don't fine. need it. I mean, they, they've already introduced Squirrel Girl in the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon universe, and it's it's fine. All right, keep her there. All right, keep her there. So says a lil. He's a big Get, fan of the Superman movies, so he's not really a valid. Uh, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Did did you like Returns? No. Okay. I didn't like anything Superman. I think they've all been bad. I actually like. And I actually watched last night because we were reviewing it on my podcast because we're going back before Man of uh, Batman vs Superman. We I reviewed Superman two and then the Donner cut and holy cow, both of them were awful. I actually think the Donner cut's a little better because it's it. It's not good. Because they didn't have I the love, cellophane S? I love both movies. Oh, Unlike because, you, because I love both of them, but I know how... I saw that. I, they the, make me crazy. They're so stupid. In both movies, they have terrible endings. Superman kisses, you? Superman kisses Lois and All erases her memory. Tonight. And then in Donner's version, Superman spins around the earth again and you know turns back right. time. And I'm like, God, this is awful. Because that's possible. And then it turned into a share. Well, they song, did right? it in the first one. Right. If you spin the earth around its axle, it's going to turn back time, not yeah, just that, destroy the planet. That's why walking backwards that's, uh, makes you go backwards. Why do you, why do you think, um, you know, in Terminator, you just see Schwarzenegger running? I thought that was the running man. Well, that's the, they combine the movies. I'm getting confused. And then you have Predator flying in. You guys see the Predator poster? Yes. yes. Everyone's freaking yes. out. Like, oh, it's awesome. It could just be the it's, Predator it's poster the Predator. from the first yeah, one. And it, it could be a cosplay it's picture. Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. I, I think it's just something so it's... Oh, it's finally going to be coming out, Predator. It's I not... liked Predators. I don't know if you guys liked Predators. I, I liked d- it. I did like Predators. It was all right. I thought it was cool. Yeah. I liked Adrian Brody being the tough guy. I yeah, wish no. Adrian Brody played more tough guys. Just because of that movie, I didn't think he could do it. But apparently Adrian he can. Brody can do anything. That's He's playing fair. Deadpool in the next Deadpool movie. That's Kieran Knightley. Kieran Knightley. <laughs> yeah. She'll be Cable. She's yeah, cable. she's going to be Cable. I'd be down for that. All right. So uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. All right. Well, I got, I got something. So Superman Returns? <laughs> terrible. Um, <laughs> um, Disney Parks, uh, as we know, has expanded their Star Wars footprint. And yes. so th- what they're doing now is they're adding at Hollywood Studios, uh, starting April 4th, they're adding a live stage show where they're going to have celebrities and they're going to have like characters, Kylo Ren, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, Darth Maul. And it's going to be a real fun stage show throughout the day. You know, 
a little less Frozen at Hollywood Studios and a little more Star Wars. All right. Um, and on top of that, what they're doing is they're going to do throughout the parks at, at certain times of day, like Disney, all is the that, Disney is parks. That Florida Hollywood the, Studios? Yeah, Florida Hollywood Studios. They don't have uh, Hollywood Studios in, uh, in California. Oh, they don't? I don't no, know. No, it's just Disneyland and then California Adventure. So they'll, but they'll still have their big Pixar footprint. So it'll be more like Pixar and Star Wars right. rather for, than... for the most part. Yeah, okay. Because yeah, they're still going to, you know, we'll still have Aerosmith and the Tower of Terror and a few other, you know, classics. But on top of that, they're going to do, like, the Disney parks always have parades throughout the day. Yeah. They're going to do a Stormtroopers march throughout the day in Hollywood nice! Studios. Nice! So I thought that... <laughs> yeah. That was really cool, and then they're working that on. awesome. They're working on like a fireworks spectacular for the nighttime, and it's supposed to have like you know like they're gonna like screenshot like all the buildings around it to be areas of in the Star Wars movies. Okay. They have like Tatooine and shut up right now. That's awesome. Hey, has anybody been to Hollywood Studios? Did you guys like go to times. what was the name of that show? <laughs> Fan- Fantasia. It's not Fantasia. The fantastic. Yeah, yes. Fantasmic, yeah. That's what they need to turn into Star Wars. Well, <clears throat> Holy crap, was they, that cool. They already do something similar to that in California. and, this, and is uh, th- this is what this Fantasma thing is. There, there's like a moat, and they bring a, like a full pirate ship out, and they set the lake on fire when a full-size dragon comes over the top and blows flame on it. And it's so awesome. And they shoot water up. And, and they show video on the water. So, like, the villains are like, I'm going to kill you. And it's like this big fire thing. And you're just like, this is amazing. It's amazing. I want to see Chewbacca in that. <laughs> so, to finish what I was doing, it was going to be a fireworks spectacular. And they're going to have, like, areas where it looks like lightsabers actually shooting out into the sky. And uh, I had that dream once. I always have that dream. So, <laughs> I, I, thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool because they already do a similar thing to Fantasmic in California, where they have um, throughout the, um, they, th- they show all the Disney movies like um, backdropped on the water. They shoot the water up, and they have all the, the music playing and fireworks and like the the all the movie prints. And you know they've had it's pirates, awesome. Star Wars, everything. It's it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. And you guys don't know what we're talking about. Not at all. No, it's not really. All awesome. Not really. I, I'm still back on him saying stage show and Kylo Ren in the same sentence because now I just can't help but thinking that they shouldn't stage uh, William Shakespeare's Star Wars there, you know, and have no, Kylo we, Ren show our, up on our stage. Our friends and be that like, do uh, well, it's like theater. They do make Sith. They do make Beth with lightsabers and Star Wars. It's awesome. H- have you seen uh, William Shakespeare's Star Wars done or read the books? Read the books. Haven't seen it done. Yeah. The, Notre Dame Children's Theater Company did a production of Empire Strikes Back. It was fantastic. I mean, that's the kind of thing I was Rudy in it because it's Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> was a uh, Rocket Ishmael? It's, it's going to become a musical. A Notre for you. <laughs> He's been like, "No, father." <laughs> yeah, man. I shall finish what thou started. <laughs> yes. So no. yeah, I, you know what I want? I'm going to throw this out here. Free free idea for Disney. Although if you want to use it, please pay me. I want them to do medieval times as Star Wars. Yes. I mean, I, who wouldn't go to that? And, and instead of the king, you have, you know how they have the king come out and, oh, blah, blah. You could have a full-on Jabba up there, you know, because all you'd have to have is a couple of actors moving the arms. Then, <laughs> No, that's the little bar, the cantina. Come on, man. Come on, Ward. You gotta think bigger here. Come but you on. Know, you know, you know that at some point, like Boba Fett has to walk out, and the crowd would go crazy, and, he, and then he just disappears because that's yeah, all he is. He doesn't say anything. He just walks in, walks out, and then he's he gone. trips and dies. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would he's, he's die. Been, he's to a go. terrible scream. Ah! Could you imagine that? Uh, I mean, they wouldn't, they couldn't make a space big enough to house that. Everybody would want to go to that. Come on, Disney, let's do it. Mm-hmm. I know a partner. They don't, they don't need you. <laughs> I know, I just gave them the idea. <laughs> I have another idea. A League of Geeks stage show. No, I'm kidding. Nobody wants to see that either. Uh, all Everybody right. wants to see that. <laughs> uh, Edward, you've got something. You're just chomping at the bit. Lay it on me. Well, something that you know something I know. about. How about uh, have you seen the... It's not really a trailer. It's kind of a clip from London Has Fallen. Yeah. The, the yes. car well, we've seen the the trailer. Yes, but there. I think there this like week. This week there was out? a clip about them in the car chase. I think it's probably escaping from the shooting in the trailer. 
It's Spoiler, about... there's a shooting in it. <gasps> oh, no. There's I can't believe they made a sequel to this movie. All right. Wait, so someone you can't a really gun have a the sequel. Movie? The sequel makes no sense. Storyline. They go to London. Terrorists attack London. Haven't we seen this? The same as Olympus Has Fallen. Yeah. And the first so, G.I. Joe movie. <laughs> the second so, G.I. Joe movie. So yep. what it is, is... Sherlock Holmes. It's about like a five-minute video of just them in the car just showing... Is it cool? It really is. I really liked it. The trailer was cool. So, I so, mean, you know it's going to be dumb, but I don't care. The trailer was more of like the CG and just showing... Yeah. How cool it looks, the helicopter view of just CG. This was more about just them in the car is just showing awesome stuff. I don't mind dumb, so... Well... We know. <laughs> Gary, would you like it? Yes. Gary says yes. The Gary seal of approval. That's all that matters. I agree, too. That was the Chris Cup talking. There was one part in the thing where they were being chased by motorcyclists. <laughs> the guy in the bulletproof, bulletproof SUV. They hit was the it brakes. the Pope? Uh, the... <laughs> They were in the Pope Mobile, though, driving away from London. Oh, man, I want to see that. That would be amazing. A motorcyclist, they hit the brakes, the motorcyclist flies into the SUV. They pop him in the head, and they drive out with his legs hanging out the uh, back window. Nice. Just driving away. All right, I'm going to bring the audience back into this. It says terrorist on board. Everybody fell asleep out there talking about Olympus has fallen, part two, whatever it's called. Yeah, okay. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy showed a, uh, you know, a post start and film, post art. But the best part of that post art is you got little Groot on yes. Drax. You got a little baby Groot with his little legs. Aww. With the little legs. Yeah, my, whole, my kids went crazy. They We're wanted me to see a little Groot poster. walking around. And, and Kurt that's the, that was where Kurt Russell is more than likely going to be Star Lord's father. Yeah, that that's really what it's looking like. He's going to be Star Lord's dad. That is. Awesome cast. All they need to do is bring Kevin Bacon into Guardians of the Galaxy two, and it's done. Well, you know what? There were like, so many references in the first. Well, exactly. I guarantee it's going to happen. He's got to appear some way, shape, or form. Even if it's him watching Footloose on VHS. In- he, well, no, you know what would be awesome is if he Whoa. turned out to be a Nova, and when he takes the mask off, like, Star Lord would just be freaking out, like, oh my gosh! And it, it, I'm not, what are you, who are you even talking about? That's the way they're going to play it. And it's, it's clearly Kevin Bacon. That would be awesome. Or just staple a Kevin Bacon mask to somebody's face. You know. like well, we've already seen that. I mean, you know, it, w- it wouldn't be original. That, that's why it was a joke. I know. <laughs> that's why it was a joke. Did you guys see the trailer for Kindergarten Cop 2? Did you guys know there's yes. a With Dolph Lundgren, it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> that was a stupid trailer. <laughs> it's Dolph it Lundgren. Awful. It is everything you think it's going to be. It is the worst looking movie. That's, kinder- that's, that's, that's kindergarten. That's twins. Cop. I think it's twins. He's short, but he wasn't a kindergartner in that. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at that one. Man, um, terrible yeah, jokes. That, that trailer for Kindergarten Cop 2. And it, it was bad. It, it was well, bad. I thought it was coming out because they've been talking about this movie. It's in, been in production. And at the end, it's like, available video on demand, March 3rd. You're like, oh, so that, exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, that might happen. be worth watching when I get a free d- video rental coupon. No, I don't think it will. Because then you're wasting your free coupon on that. <laughs> That's true. This movie looks terrible. Did you see the first one? Thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. Kindergarten was... Cop is a terrific classic. I, wow. I don't it know. is a classic. I don't know if I'd say classic. Oh, I love that movie. I'd say enjoyable. I liked it. Who, who's in the first one? It's Schwarzenegger. God, all right, let's talk about let's talk about some of these youngins. My, uh, you know. Are you serious? I, I've never seen all it. All right, if, if, you had to ca- if you had to recast the lead and you used Dolph Lundgren, who do you think the original lead was? Not John claude Van Damme. He'd be the third choice. Well, they already said Schwarzenegger. So. Yeah. Schwarzenegger, there you go. You've got those critical thinking skills. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> all right, so, something else these youngins might not know. There was this movie a long, long time ago called Blade Runner. Oh. I love Blade Runner. Do you know Blade oh, you, Runner? No. <laughs> Blade Runner is get, a life changer. Just get off the show. <laughs> so the sequel date, release date, has been finally announced, and it's going to be Jan- uh, January 12th, 2018. Broken in our house by Martha, who never knows what we're even talking about on here. She goes, we're, we're starting to go to bed, and she goes, hey, they just announced a release date for Blade Runner 2. What? She goes, I beat you guys to it. 
Well done. I can't wait. It's like you I'm excited. Care, right? I am a huge Blade Runner fan. I'm that guy that, that got the box set that had the toy and had all the stuff in it and then immediately went out and got the Blu-ray that had all the different cuts, and I've watched all six cuts. Yeah, like, I have it on Laserdisc. It's like Star Wars. I have it on Laserdisc, VHS. Like This extra three yeah. seconds changes the whole I, movie. And I watched it that way. No, there are two versions that are drastic. The version without the voiceover is very different, and actually, I think, superior. Yeah. And I remember when I was in... I had to do summer school when I was yep. like freshman to sophomore, somewhere in there. And uh, I remember there was a lot of downtime in this summer school class. So I spent my time reading the Blade Runner comic and the Buckaroo Bonsai comic. I still remember sitting there in that horrible classroom reading those going like, I wish I was watching these movies. They're awesome. Yep. But I did see them. Unlike some people. Um, bum, bum, yep. Now the real question. Yes. Yeah. The real question is which cut of the movie is the sequel going to be a sequel to? Because there are so it'll many. It'll be the theatrical release. Yeah, and you know what? It won't matter. Yeah. They're not going to. They're not going to do anything. They're going to. They're going to. It's not going to matter. Yeah. It won't. Forty years later. Yeah. The weird thing is, if they try to bring like Pris back, boy, I didn't think robots could age. <laughs> yeah. The redhead. Oh, the the dancer. Yeah, they're not going to bring her back. What's her name? It's uh, you would know her, Marth. Ah, forget it. Uh, okay, Emily Blunt is in talks to play Mary Poppins. So we talked about it here before that they're going to do a sequel to Mary Poppins. Does not make sense to me. Does anybody want to see a sequel to Mary Poppins? Well, there are enough books. My kids do. One person. You there know, is one person. My, yeah. my kids do and my wife does, and I think Emily Blunt is perfect for it. I, I agree. I don't necessarily want to see a sequel. She, she was great in um, Into the Woods. Do it, do it a different way. Do the Mary Poppins story, but don't make it a sequel. If they're doing a kind of a reboot, which isn't even, just go off the books. Yeah, it'll just be another story. Then they're not I'm great with it. Yeah. But, it but what they've been packaging it as is a sequel... Which means, oh, that's no. So a sequel just to the original movie. And if they get Jim Carrey to play Bert, I am out. I'm telling you right now. Um, but Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins, I'm down with. So who would play Bert? Who would play Bert? Well, they're going to cast somebody like him. Who do you? Well, who do you think today can play that oh, role? Oh man, uh, Jonah Hill? No, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> blow my brains out of. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin James, no. Uh, who do you think? I don't know. It, it's going to be somebody we don't know, probably. Yeah. It's going to be some young comedian. Well, oh, Chris, no, the, Chris the, Pratt. Could it do doesn't it. even have They're to be a go, comedian. It's, Chris it's somebody, Pratt. Yeah. They're going to go a different. I'm route. not joking when I say this. I know it's going to be crazy, but you know who could probably pull it off and do a really good job? Who's who's got charisma? Who can dance? Who can sing? Like Nicholas no, Cage, but Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. That I think Hugh Jackman. I mean, he, he could. I think he could do it. Yeah. He, he can do comedy. He can sing. He can dance. I don't want to see Wolverine singing and dancing. I'm sorry. He's Wolverine. Have you not seen Le Miz? Have you? I mean, no, I haven't. Well, oh. he, he sings. You need <laughs> to see Le Miz. I Come know on. he sings. He won a Tony or whatever. That yeah, is. that's what I'm saying. Like Hugh Jackman could probably play that role, like in an updated version with Emily Blunt. Johnny Depp could play that role. Uh, he could. I think he. Yeah, he could. Who'd you say? Neil Patrick Harris. You oh, win. Oh, Neil yeah. Patrick you Harris. win. Okay, you there too. we go. That would be great. I love MPH. So yes, but the harder casting, the hardest is how do you how do you cast the one that laughs on the ceiling? What's his name? Oh, I love Uncle him. Albert. How do you cast that? Yeah. You don't. You just. He's a CGI character. <laughs> who, but who is... I mean, he's so bizarre. Yeah. Who would ever be that character? I cannot think of a modern-day equivalent of Ed Wine. Ed Edwin, that's who it is. Yeah. Yes. And you know what? They've got to go a completely different route. Like, it's got to be like Chris Rock. Because otherwise, all you're thinking about is Edwin. Yeah, you have to do something different. Otherwise, everyone's just going to be comparing it the whole time. So. I'm voting Chris Rock. Mm. All right? I, I like the MPH. No, Aziz Ansari. He'd be perfect for it. 
Hey, Mary Poppins, treat yourself. Yes. That was terrible. All right, Mo- moving on. Oh, I didn't on. even hear that. She it's loves that It's always joke. terrible, guys. Just always bad. You guys are allowed to boo out there <laughs> if you hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Booing I is want encouraged. To. All right, what do we got? Uh, Bastille Day. With, uh, Bastille Day? Bastille trailer? Day? Why? I don't know how to say it. Bastille Day. What are we Bastille yeah. Day. What is it, a movie? Or it's a trailer. The... People hey, it's almost Bastille Day, people. I, I'm all it's up for celebrating It's a trailer for Bastille that. Day. It's but... with uh, Idris Happy Women's Day. Elba. Idris Elba? It's a show about just Idris Elba being a cop with a... That's a shocker. Po- <laughs> with a big yeah, pocket uh, sidekick that tries to take down uh, rogue cops. Not really rogue cops. Uh, a corrupt cops. Okay. It, it's, it's very interesting. It, did did they storm good. a prison? Idris Elba's awesome. I'm so, so I'm going to watch cops, it. Uh, they try to plant a bomb. That's a layup, right? Pickpocket, move the bomb to a different place that blew up a building. Is there a guillotine? No. Did you guys not. see this one? The Hunt for the Wilder People? Did you see that trailer? The, the what? what? I did. Uh, I, I know you're not going to like it. Nah, what? Nah. what is? What? It's not good. Tell us it more. Is, Sorry, it's not good. It's fantastic. It's, it's called The good. Hunt for the Wilder People. And it's got uh, Neil, Sam Neil is in it, who looks like somebody's grandpa at this point. He does not look like Sam Neil. Like, he could play anything that, uh, remember, who, who's the actor that played uh, John, whatever, in Jurassic Park? The one, the one welcome to Jurassic Park. I can't think of his name. Oh, the guy who died. Um, yeah. Okay. The guy My who died. should be on this because she's, she's all over who's dead. Um, but. That's her hobby. Sam Neill looks like Death. him now. Like, you see me like, he looks like a taller version of him. But it's him and this kid. And I'm telling you, man, I thought the trailer was fantastic. But it's quirky. It's not one you're going to like. Well, I didn't like it. Yeah, I knew that. It doesn't have Vin Diesel. You're not in. <laughs> Yeah. God, you just love Vin Diesel. Was that What's a wrong with you? I thinking about Vin Diesel. I, I really don't. Uh, just no, like, you do. Every joke. every movie you want to watch is Vin Diesel. Oh, we're Walker. just kicking like a Vin dead Diesel horse. could be eating a sandwich, and you Wait, will be there watching the trailer. Welcome to the Kicking a Dead Horse podcast. I'm your host, <laughs> Rob Southgate. With me, a little the dead horse, <laughs> the dead horse, <laughs> co-owner of Dead Horse Enterprises. All right, I got I got something. Yes, here. Uh, Adam McKay has confirmed that he is returning um, for Ant Man and Wasp. Uh, Good news. To be, uh, I, I love it because I I, I really enjoyed Ant Man. I actually mm-hmm. watched it again this morning with the kids. Well, and and having him at the helm from the beginning, that's going to be a difference, right? And and Paul Rudd and and all them having more creative control, right. I think, is going to be because the first one was kind of a Frankenstein of what had come before and then their vision. Now it's going to be their vision of Ant-Man, and I think it's going to be even better than the first, and I really like the first. I thought it was cool. I love Ant-Man. I agree, yeah. Ant-Man's one of my favorites, so yep, I'm excited. Yeah, so that's good news. Um, let's see. Did you guys see the teaser trailer for Episode 8? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, the, like the five seconds that were... Five seconds. Did anybody oh. care about this? Oh, yes. You watch it, I you're really like, didn't. It yes, just... I'm in. So is the movie just going to open with a staring contest then? With just yeah. come on, are you going to take, like. take the lightsaber? Yeah. Please. But no, I did. The, the I movie did, is going to open a couple years after this, just like every other movie with the scroll. The scroll I, is not going to be. They stared at each other for twenty minutes. No, this will be a dry episode open. eight. This the will be staring a completely contest. dry open. That's just how it's going to open. And then, boom, and you're like, what? What the hell is that? No, that's not how it's going to happen. I, Actually, you know what? That could happen. No, I'm that just, won't happen. They're not it gonna won't break happen. Nope. But I gotta say, as much as I thought it was stupid, when he says that begins episode eight, didn't you guys totally get the chills? I just got him saying it. I was I, totally <laughs> in. I was <laughs> really, so in. I, I, I love I'm, it. I'm excited about it, but the you know the five seconds, I was just like. But they just started production. It so was I mean, just it's, showing you. It's like a Snapchat that it was there. Exactly. I mean, that's all they're doing is just like, hey guys, we're starting now. Get the geek going. That's right, and it did. It did. Stupid five seconds I was all about. I'm like, stupid. I'm with you. I'm like, yes, there was the five seconds. Of course you are, because you guys I mean, you guys don't great. need to know, you know, Blade Runner. Well, you know Blade Runner. I know Runner, Blade Runner. You, you know I know like every cut. I don't know. <laughs> I love Blade Runner. How about I Am Wrath? Did you guys see that trailer? Yes. John Travolta has a new movie out coming out called I Am Wrath. It is the origin story of uh, Punisher. 
His Shut wife dies up. in the garage, He's and he not. goes after the gang. It's not, not terrible really joke. No, it's not really. That's a good joke because it's terrible. true. It but really is true. Terrible. That's, it, that's what it is. It looks terrible. like could be. A, it's a terrible. It's it's the. I think anybody prequel that to that sees this, I think anybody that sees this is going to suffer stroke-like symptoms because it is brutal. The hair. No, it's not awesome. I thought it's it, not awesome. The trailer was. Awful. You know what's better? His performance and all those memes of him looking around like he doesn't know where he's at. That's better than this. This is... You didn't really like it. It looked awesome. I, I liked it just because it seems... <laughs> John Travolta looks like my dad fighting mobsters with, like, fake hair on. Hey, the guy's getting too old for it. It's terrible. I just saw it. I didn't really look at the acting. I just saw the storyline. It looks like a good... It looks like a good action movie. That's all it does. It looks like okay. shooting and guns and stuff. So that's what I'm basing it off. Of. I'm anxious for the episode of this week in Geek when it comes out, and I get to make so much fun of you because it's going to be terrible. Is it going to go right to video, or is it going to be in the theaters? Video. Oh. Uh, probably video. It, probably. Did you guys see the trailer? No. I did. Oh. It's oh. unbelievably bad. And then he has a tattoo that says the Wrath on his back, and you're just like, ah. Oh. And you can tell yeah. it's not his back because it's not like all you know skin tags and moles because he's like seventy. Well, at least we'll have John Wick too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gross. All right. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Well, I'm glad you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm probably not. No, I don't think you are. I think you think you will, but you're not gonna like it. All right. I get. Um, Julianne Moore is in talks to be the main villain in Kingsman Two. Yes. Yeah. And that's that's pretty awesome. I love Kingsman. Is good news. Kingsman was by far a hit yes. last year. I mean, it was such a sleeper hit. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't seen Kingsman, go check it out and out with your children. We watched it. Even I seen Kingsman. Yeah, really? we watched I it a like couple weeks nothing. ago. And it's true. I, I was blown away. It was Loved so much it. better than it had any right to be. Yeah. I thought because it was Mark Millar well, and all that, I was thinking it was kick ass good because I loved the first kick ass. Yeah. It was kick ass good. I was thinking I think it was, was going to be wanted good, which is not good. It looked great, yeah. and then you see it, and you're like, ooh, yikes. But no, this was... Yeah, but I think the acting took... I think this was better than Kick-Ass. This was yeah, really yeah. great. Kingsman was better, way better. Yeah, and, so. and how badly do you want to keep going back to that well? Like, you're watching it, and you're like, it's just like James Bond. Oh, you go back, back, back. I'm like, it, it has that vibe, but this is even cooler. I want to keep going back to that well. I could think, totally do that, just you like You think James Colin Firth is alive? I hope so. I really. Did you guys see Kingsman? Back. Colin Firth alive? What do you think? I, I hope he is too. He was. He was so awesome. You can see so many fan theories online of how he could have survived the gunshot to the head. There's yeah, a spoiler alert. Pl- Jeez, that, sorry, that, it's been a year. My dad. <laughs> that that scene in the church, unbelievable. That was a roller coaster ride. That whole movie, even from the beginning, when the credits and they show the. They show the helicopter coming in, and the guys are at the car. They look up, and they're, like, going to shoot. And then you just see the guy hanging off the helicopter. goes, pop, pop, kills the two guys in the thing, and then they blow the missile into that building. I'm like, this is the best movie ever. And then, and then she goes up with the lightsaber, and I started crying. Oh, wait, wait. I'm getting them confused. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Um, did you guys see Night of the Living Deb? I haven't. No. I really haven't. You know? It's, it's the one who played... Do you guys ever watch Strangers with Candy? No. Nope. Yes. Do you remember, um, Martha, what's the name, name? of the, the red-haired one in Strangers with I Candy? I was a teenager. Uh, Tammy Little Nut. Do you remember Tammy Little Nut? Yes. She's the lead in this thing. Really? Yes. And the thing is, it looks like, it looks like an awful movie. Like, you're watching it, and you're like, this is really bad. It's like, it's like somebody got the script for Shaun of the Dead and forgot to put the humor in it. But at the same time, it's Tammy Little Nut, and I was kind of like really enjoying the trailer. It's you know the, it, it, the beginning. It shows like you know Los Angeles population, ninety two billion people, and then she's driving her car and she's like, "What's wrong with them?" And then it goes population two, <laughs> like excellent. And I think the guy is um, Tom, uh, 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 Johnny Blue Jeans. What's his name? Michael. Michael. Michael Ian Black. Oh, Michael Ian Black. Okay, I think yeah. it's Tammy Little Knight and Michael Ian Black. That's a, that's a recipe for wonderfulness. 
Go back in a time machine. Go to Comedy Central back in the are you mid gonna, to early are you 90s. Are you going to name the show with Johnny Blue Jeans? That was... Um, I forgot the show's name. Oh, no, I'm drawing you remember that? Now. And it had Thomas Lennon was the guy. Right. It was the um, people from Reno 911, but it was before Reno 911 came out. Yeah. And they were doing like a, like a European was uh, it a kid, variety show. Kids in the Hall? No. That's... They were doing like a European variety show. And Michael Ian Black played a guy named Johnny. Do you know Blue who Jeans, Michael Ian Black is? And he had is. this big pompadour. And he'd come no. up and like, hey. All right. It was, it was so I can't, great. I can't talk to these people anymore. No, I it? know. We <laughs> need Chris here. Wait. I I'm always bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anymore? All right. I got something else, too. So Toy Fair uh, this, this week. Yes, Toy Fair. Toy Fair. Um, Mattel showed the Ghostbusters toy line. Yes. And they confirmed. Spoiler, spoiler alert. They confirmed the villain. Is dun, dun, the Ghostbuster dun, dun. logo? <laughs> Are you sure? Because they showed that thing. If that's the they villain, said Mattel confirmed that this is the main villain, and it is like the logo kind of ghost with the red bow tie. That looked like crap. The did, vi- if do the you expect is, anything else from this movie? I do. I, I do. It you looks great. Come on, guys. You know what? I'm going to give a I shout out right now. I'm going to see this movie. I'm not. And he's not in the room, but really? Troy is here tonight. Probably Troy not. Heinrichs is here yeah. tonight. Oh, there he is. And I just listened to Troy Heinrichs uh, on uh, Remake This Movie Right. They did Ghostbusters. Everybody should listen to this podcast because they had so many great ideas. And it's such a shame because that's not going to happen. The villain looked like crap, if that's the real villain. I thought it was just like a I, toy I hope version it's not of it. a real villain. It is the bow tie and the like. He, you know what it, he looked it like? It looks like a good toy. It, it, looked, it, was, like a it looked like the intro for the cartoon, the real Ghostbusters. Yes. Because that's what it. Well, and it, to me, it also looked like a, a white version of that emoji poo that's going around. That's what he looked like. Well, I mean, it's not like the real villains of the first Ghostbusters movie actually look aesthetically good either. You've got yeah, a big slimy glow. Oh, no, but you've got the Stay Puft awesome. If you had been there this back with in the, the 80s tie. looking at toy things going, what's this movie going to be like? The nope. villains, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man? <laughs> I no, mean, no, no. It ended up being wonderful. There's you, a difference. You, what are you, you saying? weren't... Right, you, you weren't you weren't in you're, the eighties. You don't I, know. I, the 80s. You know what? You're you're no. you're missing the point with this villain. It looks too much like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and it and that ghost on the thing, it, it's obvious they're just cashing in on like, oh wait, here's we could use that. That'll be our thing. No, give me something completely different and awesome. That I think it looks terrible, and I'm not busting on the movie. I want the movie to be good, but that teaser that came out. Did you guys see the teaser? All it showed was cops running down the street, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's not a teaser for Ghostbusters. That's cops running down the well, street. Well, it's a teaser for the teaser. Yeah. I mean, that's, I ha- that's the I, thing. I hate that Hollywood trend. It's a teaser for the, the teaser. teaser. Yeah, but show me, show me the back of the it, Ecto-1 pulling away as the teaser for the tree. The, the teaser, Hollywood, like, yes. The Hollywood trend of a teaser for a teaser works when it's something funny and special. Like, Ant-Man's teaser for the teaser was great. Because was you great. got you got an ant-sized screen going where you couldn't see what was going on, and then Ant-Man trailer comes out. I yes. thought that was that was smart. Or Ray handing Luke a lightsaber. That teaser for nothing was awesome. For nothing. My God. <laughs> but this this was terrible. I want it to be good. I want it to be good so bad. I don't care that it's women and re- great, fantastic. I don't care. But there's something up. That goes. I didn't know that was the villain, man. That's 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 what's coming out of Toy Fair. He looks like so. the emoji poo. They're just going to take that emoji and make him white, and that's going to be the, the thing that they're going to put out. Gross. Yep. It's, they'll call it dog poo. <laughs> right. And just call it Kindergarten Cop 2. Um, I have one. Yes. I don't know if this uh, is going to be really? good or bad. Do you? I know, right? It's not like of a Ghost list. Ghost poo. So there's going to be Who a gonna call? San Andreas 2. With <laughs> Don't tell me you think this sounds awesome. This sounds <laughs> really awesome. Not. You know what, though? I liked San Andreas. I, 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 like the I first never movie. saw it. It's you the liked rock. the first movie. There's only one movie. You liked San Andreas. Yes, That's I liked it. Awesome. I'm okay. not going to like well, this. It seems... How would no, how you, how would you even do a like second this? one? The fault but you breaks. said you liked that... Point. So what, what they said is it's going to be a... The movie's going to be about the Pacific, about the Pacific earthquakes where 90% of the earthquakes on the world happen. And it just seems like it's going to be San Andreas only in the Pacific. 
with something else, and he's going to come in a helicopter you know what? and something's it's, going to happen. Yeah, you mean it's, it's going to be a dumb sequel? Yeah. It's The Rock. You throw The Rock in anything, he makes it fun. I don't yes. care. I know I, I know a lot of his movies are bad. You Fast know what it is? Fast and Furious. But yeah, Fast and Furious 5, I think it, I it, it you know, I seen that one yet, got, I got the franchise the going. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at movies like The Rundown, great the movie. Rundown was great. Walking, Walking Tall, Tall great. Awesome. You know, it's just... But it's like it's like you if you take him out of the movie and you put anybody else in, it's like, ah, uh, what am I watching? But it's it's The Rock. I mean, it's The Rock. You right. Can put him in anything. The Rock. Even in GI Joe Retaliation, which was the worst movie he's ever been in, it's still he the was rock. fun because it was The Rock. You know, yeah, he's the he's probably the best of those meathead type guys because he huh. he's so charismatic and he actually is good in the roles. He's I, just surrounded by garbage. He's just, yeah, because he's, you know what, he's having fun because, you know what, he's just like, hey, I probably shouldn't be here and you're all watching me, so I'm going to have fun. <laughs> and right? I'm getting paid, so why not? Exactly. You know what I smell cooking? Popcorn. You're all eating at the movies. Yeah. They love him there. Um, all right. I had another one. Uh, did you guys see they had the full trailer for Pee Wee's Big Holiday? I now, was, we, did you watch it? I haven't had the chance to watch it. I just heard about it this morning. And the fact that it exists is exciting, though I'm a bit nervous about the trailer. Okay. But you, did, you didn't watch the trailer? I have not watched it yet. Did you guys watch it? I'm not, I'm not a Pee Wee fan. I didn't see this one because I saw the earlier one. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't watch this one. Okay. Well, that's, your, that's, your, that's your loss and not having good taste. Yes, I will tell you right now, I am a Pee Wee fan. Same. Shocking. I, <laughs> I think Paul Rubens is brilliant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. And I have to tell you, the, the trailer, the first trailer they showed for it, that little teaser. Yeah, back to the teaser talk. These stupid teasers. i got to stop with this. I'm getting angry. They really do. It was all yeah. right. It was just like, okay. But I, I was excited because I'm like, oh, it's Pee Wee. But it, this trailer is spot on. It is the spiritual successor to Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh. It hits the notes. It's actually funny. He is Pee Wee. It's right. If you like Pee Wee's Big Adventure, this is right on the money, at least from the trailer. We are living in a golden age of nostalgia. Yes. Thank you, Netflix. So there you go. You two guys, I know. You don't want to watch it. I, I, I don't. You know, I mean, I, wa- so I remember the show as Pee-wee. a kid. I just never cared for it. It and might, you, you know, know what? The right it, age for the It Pee-wee's might have Playhouse. just missed me. Oh, For, you know, I watch it. I love that show. I'd watch it now. Yeah, we can tell. Mecca like a high, Mecca <laughs> hey, Heine Ho. The reruns went on long enough. I saw it as a kid. I mean, it's awesome. No, yeah, I, I, I know. I, I've Such seen it. In, uh, believe me, I've seen enough episodes. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I love the movie. I thought it was great when I was a kid. What came out? What eighty seven? Right around uh, there. Right around Pee-wee's that time. Big maybe five, eighty six. It had to be like eighty five. So, you know, it, was, it, it hit me at the right time there, but I, I think the show, I think it lost me at that point. But Yeah, you were you probably know. that age where it, it wasn't cool, but right, I was I'll, past I'll, that age where, like, we were already probably married when it was But you were never on, cool, so, I mean, it's okay. And like, yep, this is awesome. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, it's just... <laughs> it's I, like, you were never cool, so it's all right. Uh, um, I, 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 got some, I got some more stuff from... But uh, I got to say, man, if you like Pee Wee, this is... I'm going to be watching gonna this. This is going to be spot on. That's not what I'm talking yes. about. What were you going to say? Just, no, I got some stuff from Toy Fair, like some actually really cool things that are coming out this year from, from Toy Fair. And if you have kids that, like young kids that you want to get into like computers and stuff, there's some really amazing... Ah, uh, that's a trend. I don't think, yeah. <laughs> uh, like Mattel is putting out a $100 3D printer that actually Shut works up. really, Whoa. really nice. Oh, did you what? hear that? What? And it, it makes figures and everything. You, you, of course, you got to buy the little twine plastic. I don't care. That but sounds it's, awesome. The future is now. So oh, everybody should get one of those. It's like when, okay, I'm the only one that might remember this. You might, but there Shrinky was days. no, 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 no. There was a, I think it was Mattel put out a kids video camera. This is back. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I, and and everybody made fun of this thing because it was like a hundred bucks for this video camera when video cameras at that point were like three thousand bucks, right? That that camera. There was a whole culture of people, and there probably still is that make films with that camera like that is beloved this kind of thing totally there's going to be this is something that get on it learn how to use it have fun with it whether you're an adult or a kid that sounds awesome a hundred bucks done 
And on top of that, I mean, Done. also, they're, they're putting out toys that actually help teach kids how to, how to computer program. That's awesome. You know, they're, they're, I'm like, I I'm looking at this stuff, and I'm like, this stuff is terrific. You Wait. can give it to a five and six year old, and they're they're actually able to learn, do more than you can. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so when I was a kid, Atari Twenty Six Hundred came out, right? I remember. So that the that's how old I am, and my parents got it for me, and they got me, you know, like you know what the Atari is. Come on, they got me like three games, right? Barely. But I hate you. <laughs> my dad always has to have some kind of like educational element to it, so they bought me. Atari's computer programming. It came with a little pad so that you had a keypad. And I remember, I'll never forget it because I opened it up. I'm like, whoa, circus and combat. And my dad's like, I expect you to use this programming. You totally did. Yes, you did. He's like, I expect you to, to try this thing because, you know, it shouldn't be just for play. This is good stuff. He's like, get out of here. Yes, it was so funny. Dad, I'm totally busting. You don't remember it because you're 800, but you did do that. You terrible, did. Because I felt guilt. This is my therapy. Let me lay down. You know I, what? I mean, don't. you're right, though. They, they but that had... went away right away because we played Adventure together, and that was it. Bam! Big duck dragon. <laughs> Remember that, Dad? No. Okay. But, you, but you're right. They've had games and stuff like that throughout the years. Nintendo had stuff, you know, with it. Right. You know, com- you know. I remember I had a Tandy computer from Radio Shack. Taught you how to Tandy. computer program. Um, you remember the Sinclair? Like, Claire? But what, what it's doing now? The Sinclair so was many... the first hundred dollar computer. I don't remember that. It was it was absolutely. Was garbage. it a computer? Or was it a typewriter? It was garbage. It was <laughs> this big. It, well, no, just called the Sinclair, wasn't it? It was this big. I I had uh, a friend that made money in high school writing games for it, and he's like, everybody can make money. It's like they pay you like fifty bucks a game, and he showed us the game he wrote. The the programming power on this thing was so strong. It basically had a dot go across the top and then a dot drop, and you go and I go. Well, what's the point? He goes, well, you can't make anything down at the bottom. There's not enough power to it. That was the game. It just went and you'd hit the thing and it would drop a bomb. So it was like missile command without, like, without to defend anything. yourself. Yeah. Yes. And he got paid That's fifty awesome. bucks for it. That's awesome. This is amazing. Yes, I told you. All right, so you had the Tandy. Yeah, well, well, no, but well, also they're, they're, they have other other toys coming out that are doing this. They're having actual like it's like Lego blocks that you're actually able to build together. Yes. they're, they're going to be magnetic that actually teach you the intricacies of programming. It's going to do that where you oh. can actually connect it then to your your iPad or whatever whatever tablet you have. I know what computer. Edward wants for Christmas. It's the stuff is, that's coming out this it's this amazing. year is going to be ridiculous. Well, Molly has a thing called Snap Circuits that teaches them. I've circuit. seen that. Yes, and you know what. It's pretty amazing. Like, I see her up in her room, and she's just, like, building these elaborate things. And then she's like, here, watch. And it's got this thing, and it, like, lights up, and it plays to music. And you're like, um, how did you do that? It's amazing. You're like, let me get out my chisel and stone. Yeah, right. Yep. You are so old. He's not as old as I am. He just looks more older. Compared to me, you do I look, look old. Maybe I look old. I'm beautiful. Compared to you, I'm old. Oh, youch! Well, it's kind of true. You're older than me, so you're yep. technically old, which yes. is that's think, all right. I think your mic's off. You stay gold, po- Pony Boy. Do you even know what that means? That that line meant? I said you stay gold, Pony Boy. Do you know what that is? No. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. did you guys see the trailer for Ten Cloverfield Lane, the new one? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I did. Holy cow! John Goodman. Anybody into this one? I am what you're into it. I'm into it. You're into it. Stop mm-hmm. it. You're into it. Um, yes. That I love the angle they're taking where the girl thinks that Goodman's the bad guy. We don't know. We have no idea what's but going he's, on, he's and I love her, it. And she, he's like trapped. It's like in, under the dome. Like she's chained up in the basement, you know? Like Junior grabbed her. And <laughs> yes. And, well, and, and, and hopefully it's a little, <laughs> a little higher and, quality at the end. And she thinks Goodman has her trapped, and he's going, no, I saved you. But we don't know. But we do know there's something, because when she's outside and they show that light coming over, it's like, hell is going on here. I am so excited for this movie. Mm-hmm. Anyone else? You are. I, I am pumped. I are mean, you? Just the poster. It looks good. With the, just, um, now, this looks, is serious. I'm yeah. asking you this, Edward. I know you don't like horror movies. All right? You don't. 
I don't. I really Does don't. this fall into that category? Is this something you're going to be like, yeah, no, or... Wait, why, not, why don't you? I'm confused here. Why don't he you like horror movies? He, he doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't go, like Big them. girls is scary stuff. I just He's just like not into that. Stuff. I mean, some people get affected differently Boop. and don't like it. I, I can respect that. But I'm asking this movie, because this is this has the earmarks of a horror movie, but to me it's not really. It seems more... Thriller, yeah. So does this, That's what is it's this listed something as. you would see, or is this something where you're like, yeah, no, it's really falling off my radar? See, I, I don't know yet. I'll probably wait for the next trade to actually show more of what... They're not going to show you much. Yeah. They're going to well, keep what, teasing like the you second along. Half of JJ the doesn't days. show anything. I'm actually shocked the, we got this much. A lot of the first half of just Thumb in the Basement. Well, did you escaping. see Cloverfield? No. Okay. So we can't gauge it by that. Yeah. yeah that's Even that's though this isn't Cloverfield, it does give you a gauge. Do you think this is related in any way to that? Other than the name Cloverfield is Probably. in the title? You do? You do? Abrams. Yeah. Yeah. So you think it's... I think it's going to be related somehow, even if it's just like in the same universe, but only tangentially related. But I, there's got to be some connection with keeping the name like this. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe by the third one, we find out what the connection is, and we, we leave the theater going... I think, I don't know, because that's or what the, he does best. Or the connection will be like, you know, in Cloverfield, how one of the plot elements is just in the background, the yes. zoom in on the DVD. And yes, love that. Yeah. Yes. They're all actually dead. That's what we're going to, oh, spoiler for Lost. Spoiler. Um, okay, so what else do we have? Uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass? Yeah. yeah. I thought this trailer looked kind of cool. I yeah. was more excited this time than I was... On the last trailer. I, I still haven't seen cool. the first one, so... Yeah. You see it? No. No? I thought it was cool. Yeah. I think it, the first one focused a lot on Johnny Depp, and I'm like, you're, you're overblowing this? This one didn't. This one was Sasha Baron Cohen, and I was down with it. I liked him in it. The ending was so stupid, I thought I was going to cry, though, when he's like, when is Ellis coming? And then it says, coming soon. I'm like, oh, that is the cheesiest. That's like a, that's like a Southgate Media Group production. That's terrible. All right, who has one? So with uh, a lot of go ahead. Go, with a lot of live action stuff they're doing, they're making a live action Astro Boy. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. No, they yeah. did an animated one. Now they're doing a live action one. I'm do- I'm down for that. I'd be willing to see what they're doing. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with it too, but well, as, as long as it as long as it isn't like the Dragon Ball Z live action movies or anything, yeah, right? If, if Mortal Kombat. If it has, be... if they have a script and a budget love, and it's by people who actually love the care, of Mortal Kombat. I'm down for it. Mortal Kombat. If it's, did you guys see the animated one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Because yeah. we have it on Blu-ray. We got it one, you know, one of those used things. Never watched it. Oh. But I, I like Astro Boy. I like that whole thing. I thought I was gonna like it, but then I just we just never popped it in. This didn't excite me. This just made me kind of go, I think we're dipping back to the well a little oh. early for this. I don't know if the audience is going to be interested in it. I don't know why they're not waiting until the first live-action movie is going to come out to see if people are going to like it or not, and then continue with more. It seems like there's just a whole rush of live-action stuff. Well, yeah, that's because Disney has figured out... No, but Disney's already done that. They've put out a few live-action things, and they're having huge success with it. So they're going, you know what? We can take all these animated movies and Brave Little Toaster action. live action is going to be awesome. Right. I mean, no. Maleficent, Cinderella, I mean, they were all yeah, hits. Yeah. Mega hits for Disney. Yeah. The one I'm not oh. looking forward to, I'm looking forward to like watching a train wreck, is Dumbo. I can't imagine that live action. Live action Dumbo? I don't know. You know what? Yes. If they can pull off the Jungle Book, Everything yeah. I think you so can pull different. off Dumbo. No, so different. I agree. I think ju- the Jungle Book. No, if you could pull off the Jungle Book, I think you could pull off Dumbo. You're, it's animals. It, but yeah, but it, it will but work. But the Jungle Book is focused nope. on a human character. At right. Heart. And they, they, the other ones are very human esque in how they communicate. Does Dumbo talk? Well, they talk in um, Baloo talks in Jungle Book. No. Does Dumbo talk? No. I don't remember. So no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He could be no. like Deadpool and ha- break the fourth wall. No. <laughs> no. So he, he, no. you're going to have a mute elephant. <laughs> no, Deadpool and Dumbo. He's, he's... Dumbo pool. It's, uh, it's going to, to me, in my mind, I start seeing those like 70s animal movies where the, uh, they, they have an animal and they stuck something in their mouth to make their mouths grow. I just think it's going to be garbage. 
And, right. and, and Johnny yeah. Depp is playing Timothy Mouse, I believe. Are you, are, are you serious that Johnny Depp is playing Timothy Mouse? I'm or are serious you that Johnny Depp is in it, and I think he's Timothy Mouse. I see. All right. Which Disney reminds me, if we can move on to the next thing. That, yes. Um, Haunted Mansion uh, reboot by Guillermo del Toro. Yes. Yes. We've talked about that on here. Never mind. We're all down with it. I'm down with it. Did you guys see Crimson Peak? I loved Crimson Peak. No, not yet. Uh, Chris loves Crimson Peak. I loved so it. Good. It was a great movie. It was um, great. 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 It was great. Uh, yeah, man, I want to see it. Mm-hmm. And Guillermo del Toro making a essentially a Disney movie. I'm really down with that idea. Yeah, I yeah. think you know Guillermo del Toro really works well when you push him to be creative instead of just letting him do whatever he wants to. Right. Uh, and so having the constraints of a family movie. I think he's going to do... It's going to be amazing. Great. Yeah. Unless he's the one directing Dumbo, because that's not going to be good. I mark my words. <laughs> right now, Dumbo is not going to be good. And if I'm wrong, it's Edward's fault. You know what? I Shoo. Disney's, Why not? Disney's, Disney's track record with that, I, I'm, I think your words are going to be wrong. Ooh. Okay. You, got, you guys going to lay bets down? I can be wrong once I, in a while. I I'm will big bet. enough to admit that. I'm going to trust Disney. Um, I got one last thing I got. One last thing. Is uh, Sam Jackson is going to be Nick Fury in Ragnarok. I don't know how that's going to work. He's returning for Thor Ragnarok when, from everything we've heard, that will be Well, didn't he, in the comics, wasn't Nick Fury off-planet for a while? When they they did... uh, Oh, which one is it? Uh, Original Sin. He was off planet in Original Sin. Well, yeah, but th- I mean that's. Yeah, but I mean they they have a. Yeah, either that or he's just gonna be he's gonna be here and he's gonna say that. He'll just be watching TV, Hulk, watching maybe, the Hulk. Yeah, he'd be watching, be like, Banner, get your ass on Mars, like that, and that'll be it. This is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> My God, we Too have an explicit rating now on this. That's though. not explicit. All right. I think, I don't that, write that, all your that, hate mail to Rob when you, Southgate. When you quote Schwarzenegger, is it really explicit? No. See? Yes. Rich ruled. Yes. All right. Uh, you can say it once in a PG-13. That's right. Uh, I think true. that's it. Other than, did you guys see, oh, my gosh, the poster for Pete's Dragon? Yep. No. What's that? Pretty good. What's that? Pete's Dragon is a Disney movie oh, they're doing. God, but that's you. a live action mixed with animated and they're remaking it. How about you, Alil? Did you? I mean, just the poster. I totally got. I got the feels off the poster. Anybody else? Okay, it's a that, giant dragon. And that boy. looks pretty yeah. good. It's the boy's dragon. Yeah, no Helen Reddy in it. So. Well, it's a cat. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And then the other trailer that was really great. Um, oh, the Game of Game of Thrones season six trailer was excellent. Um, oh, I got I got two, and then we got to end. Uh, Midnight Special. Did you guys see the trailer for this? No. Yes. No. Another one you're not going to like, I right? I don't like it. It's you not are my kind so of movie. wrong. It's uh, Jeff Nichols directed it. He directed Mud. Uh, it's got Michael Shannon, Adam Driver, Kirsten Dunst. This thing looks amazing. Mm. Like at first, I'm Zod, it started up and I'm like, Mary Midnight Jane Special. Watson, it's a, uh, it's a sci-fi movie. It. Oh my gosh! Like this kid is part alien. I mean, it's not like that Cusack movie. Uh, it looks so, you know, the one who's... Never talk kid. ill of Cusack. Yeah. This looks amazing. He can do no wrong, Cusack, in my eyes. <laughs> well, you didn't see Martian Kid or whatever that's called. Uh, the trailer for Sing. Did you guys see the trailer for this? I saw The this. Saint? For what? With Val Kilmer? You're going to no, hate no. me for this. <laughs> Sing. I am probably going to watch this movie. I'm not going to give you any crap about it. I... Okay, the it picture. It looks enjoyable. The picture had like a koala with a microphone, and I'm like, oh god, um, I'm out. But I thought I've, we got the show. I'm going to watch the trailer. It it looks so bad, but it looks so funny. And the highlight was it's got all these animals, and they're singing. They're like doing. They're trying to get on a on like American Idol, so they're doing all pop songs. So it's you know, I mean, you see what's coming. But the sheep singing Kiss from a Rose was unbelievable. Like, oh, I, mean, I know what you're talking about now. That I was saw hilarious. That. I'm, so, I'm so confused there. And I'm like, oh, that's right. The animal's singing. Yeah. yeah. But the Kiss of, kiss of the Rose, that was killing me, man. Killing me. 
All right, I'm done. Are you guys done? I'm done. I'm, I'm done. done. All right. Thank you for listening, Solid. everybody. That was This Week in Geek for February 20th. We will be back next week. Thank you, Blue Box. Blue Box.